So I was born April 25th, 1967, here at Little Company of Mary Hospital, the youngest of nine children. If you were born and raised here in the area, odds are that you were born at Little Company of Mary Hospital. We're fortunate to have this place in our community with its charter of, you know, helping other people. Patrick and I have been together for about 25 years. Um, we've been married 18 years. We have four kids together. Patrick, when he walks into a room, people just kind of gravitate towards him. You want to be his friend. You want to get in his circle. You just automatically trust him. That's what makes him such a great reporter. He's everybody's friend, he can talk to people, he can, he can get stories out of people, and it's because he's just a real good guy, and he does a lot for the community. I met Patrick about 11 years ago when he was doing an interview with my son Jake for St. Baldrick's. So Baldrick's is a mythical figure. To let the kids know that they're not alone when they're going through these trials, through chemo and fighting cancer and they go bald, to uh, express their empathy through shaving of their head. And probably about uh, 15 or 16 years ago, I was out on a story out in Tinley, and there was this little girl, she was five years old at the time. She was going through leukemia for the second time in her five years. And this little girl turned to me and just said, are you gonna go bald? And honest to God, I, I didn't have an answer other than yeah, I guess so. He didn't even think twice. He was just, I need to shave my head for this little girl. From that, we came back and he said, said to me, he said, Kate, we have to do something more. So him and I, the following year, we called every school in the state of Illinois and tried to explain about St. Baldrick's. We got about 23 schools that first year. After that, we just, it just kind of grew and grew and grew. He came to me, I remember when he was first started here, and he's like, well, I have this charity, and I'd really like to shave my head, and you know, can we do it live on the air? He goes on the news, and he'll, he'll go to different events at different high schools and grammar schools, and he like takes charge of it, and he's always raising money for it. We've been able to raise somewhere in the neighborhood of $16 million, and that's money that goes to at least eight hospitals here in town. It's an amazing, it's an amazing event. The kids love it. They love Patrick being there. They love watching him get his head shaved. And, you know, he broadcasts it all over so people see it everywhere. Fast forward a few years, when we had a terrible event happen in our family, we started another foundation called REACT. REACT stands for Ryan Elwood Awareness, Counseling, and Training. Lieutenant Ryan Elwood, my nephew, who uh, took his own life, we lost our nephew, Ryan Elwood, to suicide in September of 2015. You know, when, when tragedy comes your way, you know, what are you going to do? Are you going to sit there and be silent and suffer? Or are you going to try and make a difference? Patrick came and said, we need to do something more to get awareness out there and to help first responders get some help. You know, first responders really struggle at times with their mental health. And, you know, too often they suffer silently. They need help. They see stuff every day in their lives that is horrific. They are true heroes. And we need to let them know that it's okay to go get help. We have different lectures, we have different venues that they can go to, different outlets. We have events that have over 700 people at them. We have counselors on hand that they can go to and talk to. Yeah, just the other day he came to me and he pitched a story to me about how he wants to, to work more and tell more stories about how first responders are suffering because it's such an important issue. Patrick has all these connections from being in the media and out on the streets with the Chicago Fire Department, with the Chicago Police Department. Every time he goes out on a story and it happens to be with a first responder, he's handing out our literature. Patrick spreads the word every day he goes to work. But if we can offer them you know, a lifeline, a second chance, it's okay to ask for help. It's okay.
Patrick deserves this award because he is all of that. He's helpful, he embodies a true spirit of love and support for those in need, and he cares very deeply for people. Little Company Mary is a huge staple in our neighborhood. For him to be chosen, I just thought, of course, you know, he deserves it. Maybe it's because he was born there, but he encompasses all that uh, Little Company of Mary is about, and it's about being a responsible, ethical, loyal, respectable person. He is a good soul. I mean, he is just a good human being. And he just has a big old smile on his face all the time. He's always happy. I just, I enjoy life. I enjoy people. I enjoy a good time, you know, beats the alternative. <laughs>